All right, guys, we're back. Uh, we stopped the video just so you didn't see, uh, you know, what we were doing is putting screws on. It didn't take us but 30 to 45 seconds longer to do the three screws. You know, we can show you how strong this unit is, actually lifts the motor up. Um, and this unit is built to, you know, we're, des we're designed to probably get somewhere. We don't know exactly, obviously, we're not that scientific, but the design was to get something between about 350 and 700 pounds of lift of force straight up and down so that we're lifting not only the back end of the boat, the motor and everything, we're trying to lift what is turning into be these newer, heavier four stroke engines, right? You're, let's face it, this is a two stroke engine and it's substantially lighter. I'm not sure how much, but I'm guessing somewhere between 50 to 75 pounds lighter than a four stroke engine of the same size. All right, four stroke has more metal in it, more valves, more this, more that. And so the engines are just a tad heavier than the two stroke engines. So with that in mind, um, some of the pontoon boats that are going to the new four stroke engines that are shorter boats, you know, the 18 to 20 footers, they're getting this bow up look to them. All right. Well, how do you trim that out as you move through the water? Well, this system right here is an answer to that. And this pitch control plate PCP is an answer to any of the four stroke issues that you may see coming along. And that is as the water comes this way on it, this forces lift in the back end of the boat, okay, as, as far back in the boat as you can to make the boat, the actual motor lift up or make up for the weight of the motor, all right? Now, we were saying that we can change the attitude of this, right? So I'm gonna reach up and I have a trim tilt on the motor here. I'm gonna reach up and give you a for instance as to how that actually happens. So right now I'm gonna go, that is in full down mode. So basically that what that would indicate is, is in full down mode. I'm forcing the bow down as far as I possibly can at the speeds that I am going at. I, I'm, you know, we're not obviously not going at speed now, but let's say we were doing 10 knots or 20 knots because of the angle of this that way, I'm forcing the bow down. All right. Now, what I want to do is I want to force the bow up or let the bow ease up. All right. So what I do is I start going like this, one click, two clicks, three clicks, and it doesn't take much, you know, one click, two clicks, right? And then you get to where it's actually straight in line with the water or the flow of the water, which would be neutrally buoyant, right? And when it's straight in line with the water, that means you're not creating any down force on the bow or any up force. You're just limiting the up and down portion of the back end. Now let's say we want to get the bow up. Okay, here's how we start doing that. We come in and start doing this and that'll start bringing the bow up, right? So those are the ways until the prop clears the water, obviously, when, you know, once the prop starts to cavitate, we don't have any more bow up left. We got to start getting people back or putting coolers to the back and trimming the boat out in a manual way. But this is a way to trim the boat out in a way that's easy and accessible to the helmsman. All right. I'm sure everybody's going to have questions, but, you know, as I showed you, you can see what kind of strength this has. Um, and this is known as the uh, PCP. Um, we're actually gonna come up with a trademark name for it. And um, this will be sold separately or, port or, or part of the kit, depending upon what everybody wants to do. There's other ones of these that are on the market that are much smaller, okay? Um, the problem is, is those aren't made of a strong material. They're not made to do the job that we're doing. Um, and that is the job we're doing is we want this thing to act like the tail or the elevator of the airplane and to control the bow and the boat attitude going through the water. That's, that's what we're looking for here, right? Okay. You got any questions? Give us a call. Once again, it's pontoon hydrofoil applications. We, we consult on any problems you may have. And we also will be selling um, hydrofoils for pontoon boats, uh, tri-tune boats, and 
any kind of uh, problems you may have with any of those. So uh, we look forward to seeing you again, and thank you, pontoonhydrofoil.com.